welcome back all the uh, modules that you have seen okay this particular module is going to be most important because most of us will think like you know whether i should work whether i should work or whether i should go for my own business right at what point and there is no right answer or wrong answer for this okay i will always say the rewards are very very high for an entrepreneur and there is a lot of risk also involved for an entrepreneur for example if 100 companies are being started today after 3 years i am talking about 36 months okay i would say that only 15 companies will survive after 36 months what happens to the remaining 85 companies the 85 companies may not survive may not survive 3 years the reason is that is there could be some cash problems will be there point number 1 cash flow problems cash cash flow problems will be there clients like you know there are no takers for it technology would have changed right your assumptions would have come completely gone for a twist and all that stuff so entrepreneurship is a high risk high reward game on the other hand today like you know a lot of companies for example startups and all that stuff what they do is that is they do a mix and match what it means is that is any startup right you get an employment over there but you actually think like an entrepreneur and then you actually work so a set of people come together like you know work as employees but the rewards of an entrepreneurship is there, always there so these kind of opportunities are also there for you so we'll be talking about all these things in the next 10 to 15 minutes most important please pay attention before we talk about employee versus entrepreneurship let's look at the basics now you're all doing four year bs degree bachelor of science degree in iit madras now what we all assume that life after college for the next 5 years or next 10 years or next 20 years what will it will be is you expect you plan the life will be like this right like it will be very even and then you will reach your goal post when i talk about your goal post whether it is 60 years or whether it is 50 years or whether it is 100 years you expect life to be like this but unfortunately the fact of the life is your life is going to be like this the reality is going to be like this what it means is that is you'll start the journey first it will go upwards we don't know how the upwards will be there or sometimes it will be in hockey stick what it means in hockey stick it will go down first and then it will pick up now sometimes it will start going up and what will happen is that is there will be some kind of a speed breaker will be there then you bring yourself up and then it will keep going up and once again there will be some speed breaker then it will be there will be a downfall then you will come some pandemic will come some pandemic will come it will be like this then we talk about recession something will come like this recession will be there after everything is done like you know there is something called uh, climate change global climate global warm i mean warming will come something will happen like this but unfortunately or fortunately i will say that your end will be always beautiful your end will be always beautiful irrespective of it so what i all that i'm trying to say is that is your plan will be likely different your actuals will be much much different but you should focus so what is there in our hands we'll talk about it right so what is that we have the most valuable resources it's not like you know the possessions that you have what are the most valuable resources that you have is something called your time your money and your energy these are the three things that you have in uh, with you okay time money and energy when you are 20 or 25 years old when you are 20 or 25 years old what happens is you have a lot of time you have lot of energy unfortunately you don't have money but good thing is that is today you can raise money very very quickly if you have a bright idea there will be lot of people who would be willing to fund that idea so don't worry about it but between the age group of let's say uh, 25 to 30 and all the way up to 50 let's talk about 50 years what will happen is that is by the time you would have made lot of money you would have made lot of money your energy levels will also be good obviously yes 30 35 40 your energy levels you can work for a very long time and all but unfortunately like you know you will be juggling too many things at the same time you may not have time 
but beyond let's assume that more than 60 what happens is that is you would have retired you will have lot of time you will have hell a lot of money but energy levels will not be there so don't try to start a business when your energy levels are less now we all have 24 hours a day at least 6 hours a day should go for your sleep minimum 6 hours 5 to 6 hours should go for sound sleep but not more than 8 hours. Now, what I am seeing with people, youngsters like you is that is, they work 5 days like crazy. They wait for the Friday, Saturday to Sunday to come. They will try to recover the lost sleep during the weekend. They work till 2 o'clock on like, you know, 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock and they try to do, don't do that. So, you have to take sleep on a daily basis. 5 to 6 hours minimum, 6 hours of solid sleep, not more than 8 hours. Even on a Sunday, not more than 8 hours. It's very, very important. If you want to become an entrepreneur, you should be able to will to put 16 hours a day if you want to work as an entrepreneur. If you are an employee and you are putting 16 hours a day, what will happen is that is, you will become the top cream in a matter of 20 years. 100% guaranteed. Any company you go and work and if you work 16 hours a day, I am sure your boss or your, your manager will recognize you and you will even come to the level of CEO position. This has happened in so many companies. I have about 25 years of experience, but I cannot name all the company here because like you know, this recording is there in the public domain and cannot record. But only thing is, if you put in your efforts, definitely the management will recognize. Most of the CEOs, most of the CEOs, including Google, if you talk about Google, okay. So, if you talk about Google, I think most of the CEOs have put in a lot of efforts and they are able to do it. Please understand there is a book called Outliers. Outliers. Malcolm Gladwell had written that particular book and there he talks about a rule called rule of 10,000 hours. Rule of 10,000 hours. What he talks about rule of 10,000 hours is that is anybody who is investing 10,000 hours passionately, whether as an employee or as an entrepreneur, what will happen is he or she will gain expertise in that particular function. So, if you want to become like, if you want to become an expert and if you want to start something on your own, remember these two things. It's not an easy way like, you know, to generate, let's say, if you want to become an unicorn. Unicorn. Unicorn is you start a business and then you try to generate a 1 billion dollar as a valuation is called an unicorn. So, if you want to become a unicorn or whatever, definitely you have to put in a lot of effort. And another thing is money. Money will follow if you keep learning. First thing is you should keep learning a lot. Don't like you know say that after my bachelor's degree I will stop learning and all that. So you should keep learning. Once you start learning automatically that learning will lead to earning. And once you start earning you should also return back some of the things back to the society whether it is income tax or like you know whether investing in the business and all that stuff it is very very important you should do it. And the last thing is that is energy levels. Your energy levels will start going down at some point in time you should ensure that your, your environment, your thought process, your friends and family are all giving you positive energy. If somebody is going to talk about negative or all that stuff, please stay away from those kind of thoughts. Try to stay positive. That's what is very important. I'm sure as you saw in the previous slide, your end will be always beautiful. This is apply, applicable for your father, my father, your grandfather and grandmother, whoever you take, like, you know, they, they completed their lifetime very, very beautifully. So, you stay positive and ensure that you are at high energy levels. These are very, very important if you want to get into entrepreneurship, right? <clears throat> so, whether you, you are trying to like, you know, manage all these things for the next 10 years. So, this is what I have been talking about it. So, this is the same summary which I am talking about. At, at younger age, you worry about money. At a very young age, you worry about money. Between 26 and 50 years, you worry about your time, that's what you worry about. Now, at 50 years, what happens is health takes a toll. You keep traveling a lot and all that stuff. Beyond 60, your energy levels are getting into trouble, okay. But uh, the good thing is that is today, thanks to your medical technology and like a uh, medical advancement, people are going to live till 80 years and 85 years and 100 years. There are countries where people live over 100 years. So, that means when you do wealth management and all that stuff, you should plan. So, do not expect inheritance from your parents. Like you now, by the time you are about 75, you will get money from your parents. At 75, you will not have the energy. At 75, you will not have energy and you will not be able to spend the money also. So, that means inheritance is out of question these days. 
gifts are absolutely fine okay so this you need to understand correct your life and my life is in our our own hands like you know, how we are going to plan all these things now if you want to get into entrepreneurship there are a lot of skill sets that you need to develop correct not all the skill sets are required on day one but as you expand let's say from from the first 1 lakh to the next 10 lakhs or to the next 1 crore or whatever you need you need to have lot of expertise what are the skill sets that you need is what i'm going to cover in the next slide that slide will be a heavy content please go through it if you want to become an entrepreneur you should have horizontal exposure and vertical expertise you can be a subject matter expert that is absolutely fine but you should still have that vertical uh, expertise is required but horizontal exposure is required i'm going to talk about the horizontal exposure in the next slide this is the horizontal exposure which i'm talking about if you want to become an entrepreneur you need to have horizontal exposure in all these areas the first thing that you need to have exposure is on marketing so when i say marketing what happens is that is how do you interact with clients that's what is very very important how do you bring in like you know business so here i am talking about b2b b2b is called business to business or your business model involves business to consumer or whether you are talking about digital thanks to pandemic like you know lot of freelancers made huge amount of money through social media absolutely okay so each and every every this one is an opportunity for us recession may come that may be that may turn into an opportunity for some other people absolutely yes okay there are sometimes like you know where you will sell high margin products high margin products for example like you know let's talk about uh, uh, stitching blouse stitching a blouse okay now what happens is the money whatever you cut is a price there's a huge margin is applicable you can say like you know to stitch a blouse like you know for a woman you can say it will cost 10000 rupees it may cost you only 2000 rupees or 1500 so you will make a margin of 80 to 90% sometimes some consulting activities can end up in a high margin so that means like you know, if you are an entrepreneur you should understand all these things that is very very important the next thing is marketing will lead to sales you need to have horizontal experience or expertise in sales because at the end of the day you as an entrepreneur the first thing is about like you know, selling your idea you should be able to like you know, sell and here you should learn about pricing strategies not all the products will give you same amount of profit some products will give you huge margin some products will give you small margin so you should understand the product mix that's very very important right some of the things you have to give it for free whether it is android or whether it is google or whatever what happens is some of the development platforms are given free so you should understand like you know where you are entering into it so that is very very important correct and the next thing is if you are into manufacturing if you are into manufacturing suppliers form a very very important key role you need to have like you know build tier 1 suppliers tier 2 suppliers and tier 3 suppliers which is very very important you can't depend only on one or two sets because otherwise you will get into trouble so you need to understand your sla you need to keep your cost of goods sold under control so what it means is that is if you are into manufacturing kind of entrepreneurship you should learn all this kind of things then the most important thing is operations you should remove all your non value added activities that in that way you will keep your productivity really really high correct you need to keep your span of control as 1 is to 7 not all the 1000 people can report to you that means maximum 7 people or 8 people can report to you and you should get all the things right the very first time okay rework is non value added in nature that is very very important and most importantly you should hire the right people and the right people will come at a premium cost so running operations is not easy okay and most importantly like you know your business model keeps changing every couple of years nokia just because nokia came up like you know they can't sit back and relax what happened blackberry came after blackberry came like you know you can't sit back and relax touch phone came what happens is every 3 4 years there will be innovation will be there you have to like you know bring in like you know the the experience and all that stuff more importantly you should focus on patent this is most most important you should look at intellectual property rights these are the important things that you should do and uh, most importantly like you know you should be to the market like you know you need to be faster to the market and you should bring innovation <clears throat> correct even if you have expertise in all these things this one is the most critical to run the organization you need support of hr you need support of finance you need support of admin 
you need to have security, right? That's what is very, very important. And you should learn the basics of like, you know, running a business. This is called as return on assets, return on equity and return on capital employed. We were talking about cash flows, correct? If you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to have expertise in all these things. Then you need to have MIS. MIS is nothing but management information system, MIS dashboard. You need to have a RACI matrix. What is RACI matrix? Responsibility, accountability, consulted and inform, informed matrix. What it means is that is like how do you make the decision making? So what it means is that is like you know, getting into entrepreneurship is very, very easy. So that's why I said when 100 companies are started, only 15 to 20 companies be, go beyond three years, okay? They have problem, challenges, anyone. It's like, you know, wherever is the weakest link, like, you know, you'll get dropped. So running into entrepreneurship is absolutely fine, but you need to have a lot of things going in favorable for you, right? Otherwise is you convert your employment into entrepreneurship. You join a particular organization, and but you work like an entrepreneur. You think that like you are an entrepreneur, what the CEO or what the CIO is expecting, and then you start performing like that. There you will automatically grow n times. And in one of the examples, we saw that like, you know, CEO of uh, Infosys, like he was part of the leadership team. He was part of the incubation team, initial incubation team as an employee. But over a period of 20 to 30 years, Shibula like, you know, made a huge impact. So you can become an employee and still you can like, you know, reap the benefits of an entrepreneurship, right? So what is very, very important is that is leadership and management is very, very critical for an entrepreneur, leadership and management. And those things cannot be delegated when it comes to small and medium companies. You need to have clarity of thoughts. You need to be focused in what you are trying to do. That is very, very important. And you need to build insights. That's what is very important. Everybody is running short of time. Only 24 hours are there. And you should be talking about like, you know, where you should be focusing your energy, say, where you should be focusing your efforts so that it gives you maximum results. That is what is very, very important. And you should like, there are a lot of universities which gives you free courses. Harvard University during the pandemic period, they gave 67 courses free. That means you can register, you can learn everything. Today, YouTube, you can learn a lot of courses for free. There are a lot of online courses come like, you know, during sale, like you can buy it for 300 rupees, 500 rupees and all that stuff. So learning is something is very important, but whatever you have learned, you have to implement. That is what is very, very important. Apart from that, you need to get one-on-one -on -one mentoring. That is also very, very important. Who is your mentor? Who is your coach? Which is very, very important. Most importantly, are you investing at least 1% of the money which you are earning every year, investing on yourself? That way you keep upgrading your skill, your skill sets. So here we are talking about employee versus entrepreneurship. So there's nothing called this is right or that is right. You should take calculated risks. When I say calculated risks, this finance is very, very important. Don't put all the money into business. For example, if I have, let's say, 100 rupees, take risk with 20 rupees. So even if you lose the entire 20, at least 80 is there with you. So with 80, with a, with a span of two or three years, you'll be able to bring back. So don't try to start a business at the age of 60, not possible. There you, your energy levels will be very less. So for example, I started business at the age of 45. So what it means is that is like, you know, you should, uh, you should like, you know, take calculated risks so that like, you know, you are financially independent. You ensure that like, you know, your spouse is having the money to run the home for a certain point in time and you start. And if you want to build a unicorn and all that stuff, your idea has to be very, very unique. You should have good communication skills. You should have a A leadership team. You should have like a good HR team. Uh, like, you know, what will happen if then else you should be able to run it. But with all this kind of things today, there's a lot of uh, like, you know, possibility is there. You can bring in new products, innovative things, you'll be able to bring it. So entrepreneurship is much more rewarding. Definitely you should look into it. But only thing is, it's a risk reward game. It's a risk reward game. Please ensure that you're able to do it. I hope I gave you some kind of clarity, like, you know, or whether you should be become an entrepreneur or whether you should become an employee. Other thing is, you can work for first five years or six years and then learn the basics of all these things. And then you can find out what is the problem statement. You can find an opportunity. There should be a need, like a you know, burning desire. There should be a need to grab that. Based on that need, what you can try to do it, identify the problem statement, then you can start your entrepreneurship. Wishing you most and more. Um, and uh, thank you very much. And thank you, IIT Madras, for providing this opportunity. Thank you.